assalamu alaikum welcome sixth class in the second semester i am hopeful you are all fine i am your english teacher and here is the working of day 14 and 15 so let's start the working here is our today's working the pobble who has no toes the pobble who has no toes toes means pong ka panja had once as many as we once ek dafa when they said jab usne kaha some day you may lose loss means guma dena day kuch waqt mein ya koi kisi din then all he replied replied means jawab diya fish fidel d die fidel means mudakhlat karna and his aunt jobiska made him drink drink means pani dena ya peena like winter water tingled with pink for she said usne kaha the world in general knows ki jo duniya hai aam taur par usse janti hai there's nothing so good ki wahan par kuch bhi bahut acha nahi hai for a pobble toys the pobble who has no toes swam across the bristol channel swam means ek kisam ka prinda but before he set out the wrapped in snow snow means snug in a piece of scarlet flannel piece means tukra scarlet means nihayat sukh rang mein for his aunt jobiska said usne kaha can come to his toes if he noise is warm noise means sure harm means nuksan dena warm means garam and it's perfectly known that a pobble toys perfectly means mukammal taur par are safe safe means mehfooz rehna ye hifazat se provided he minds his nose provided means muhayya kiya gaya here are the words meanings provide muhayya karna whiskers mooche pleasant khushgwar manner tarika ya ikhlaq feast daawat shor sahil harm nuksan ya dukh observe mushayda karna perfectly mukammal taur par fidal mudakhlat karna crawfish jinga machli and sailor malai ya kashti ban here is the first question what suggestions does the poet make about the manner in which the pobble lost his toys here are some suggestions that a pobble toes may have been carried away by shrimps crawfish or crafty mermaids how they disappeared in anybody's guess what did aunt jobiska do for the pobble aunt jobiska made the pobble drink lavender water tingle with pink gets him to wrap his nose in a piece of scarlet flannel and then sends him off to swim the bristol channel to find her a runcible cat with crimson whiskers here's the next question when did aunt jobiska say this aunt jobiska said this after he set off across the bristol channel what did the people uh, uh, pobble do in taking his advice before the pobble set out he wrapped his nose in a piece of scarlet flannel and here is the last question do you think the advice helped the pobble in any way no he lost his toys anyway so dear students that's all about my today's work king thank you assalamu alaikum